Hi, this is Terry Van Noy in my online classroom called Math Class with Terry V. Hey, if you're looking for some help, extra help in your math class, maybe you need to test out to a higher level, maybe you're just frustrated at what you're doing right now in your classroom, maybe you're being homeschooled and you kind of hit a wall and you just can't get the help you need. I offer customized, um, targeted learning sessions online. I connect remotely with you, live voice, shared screen, shared whiteboard, shared tools, everything as if we were in the same room together. Uh, give me a call at the number you see up there or visit my website, fill out an interest form, and take a look at this lesson now that, has, that comes from a question from one of my viewers, Jasmine, and she asks about um, the vertexes of a triangle and midpoints and distances. So it's kind of a combination question, and thank you, Jasmine, for the question. Let's go ahead into today's lesson. P, Q, and R as the vertexes or vertices of a triangle, and we'll locate the, those on the graph. We're given that S is a midpoint and T is a midpoint, and then we have to find the length of S, T, and P, R. Well, first, let's go ahead and plot those points. So our triangle looks like this after we connect the points. And, you know, it sure looks like a right triangle to me because we have a, a horizontal line here from P to Q and a vertical line from Q to R. Okay, it looks like a right triangle of some kind. But the idea is now we need to locate the midpoints. Okay, now the midpoint is if we have a graph like this, we can just basically um, take a look at it vertically and horizontally. So if I'm going... Um, one, two, three, four, five, six units from P to Q. Halfway would be right about here, and that would be this one right here. S is the midpoint of P, Q. Okay, so we can call that point S. Okay, we can easily tell the coordinates of that midpoint, but mathematically, what if we didn't have this on graph paper? I'll show you how to do that in a second. Let's find T, the midpoint of Q, R. Okay, here's Q and R, and it looks like to go from Q to R, we go one, two, three, four, five, six units down again, and there we go. That must be point T, that's the midpoint there. All right, now we're going to go ahead and connect that, and let's connect those together. And we have our line segment ST, which we're trying to find the distance of. Okay, but first, midpoint. All right, the midpoint between any two other points is actually the average of the x's followed by the average of the y's. Okay, and it should make sense because we're trying to find the midpoint between the distance between the x and the y coordinates. So in other words, if we look at P and Q, and we, if we're going horizontally, those are the X coordinates of those points, and we want to know the average between where P is here and where Q is here, so we take the average. In other words, we are going to add these two numbers up, those are the X values, that'd be negative 12, divide by 2, and that would be what's half of negative 12? Right, negative 6. Okay. The y coordinate being nothing more than the average of these y coordinates here. So 7 plus 7 is 14, divided by 2 is 7. All right, so if we look at where we put point S, obviously that's 6 back on the x axis and 7 up on the y axis. Negative 6, comma, 7. All right, let's look at the QR midpoint. Again, we are going to add these two up. Negative 6 divided by 2 would be negative. 3. Okay, average the y points. What's 7 plus 1? 8 divided by 2 is 4. There we go. It should be at negative 3, 1, 2, 3, positive 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. There we go. So we have s and t. Now we're going to use the distance formula or the Pythagorean theorem formula to find the distance st and the distance pr. All right, I'm going to change colors here. Let's go to red. Now the idea is that for S and T, that's the hypotenuse of a right triangle because we know this is a right angle. Plus we know that's a horizontal line and a vertical line. So if we have three units going across from S to Q 
and three units going down happens to be the same in this case three and three so now we have the three distance squared plus the other three distance squared but we're going to take the square root of that all right that is going to give me my actual distance from s to t all right so 9 plus 9 is 18 so it's the square root of 18 okay square root of 18 all right we can leave it in radical form or we can actually put it in the calculator and find out the actual uh, the approximate decimal value of that but now PR now do we just assume it's gonna be twice as long well let's see if we're gonna go from P down to where R is how many units is that one two three four five six that's a six leg of a right triangle if we go across here looks like we actually go over six so it's a six leg six leg right triangle again to find the distance we're going to square each of those legs 6 squared and then add the results together so 36 plus 36 is square root of 72 now I can simplify those radicals um, but we'll go ahead and leave it in that form right there alright Jasmine thank you very much for the question and it has to do with right triangles Pythagorean theorem distance formula and midpoints that's a great combination problem alright good luck students and give me a call if you want extra help